everyone, The Axe is back with another video and we are continuing the Firefly journey. I'm gonna give it to you straightforward, you guys. I completely understand the heart of this show. This is basically a group of people with nothing in common. They all found each other and they become a family. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel and you wanna see all my future reaction videos, Click on that subscribe button down below and help grow the channel. Also, if you want to check me out behind the scenes, check out my Instagram in the link below. Alright, so let's get on with the show as X Spotlight, Firefly, Episode 6. The Central Planets formed the Alliance and decided all the planets had to join under their rule. After the war, many of the independents who had fought and lost drifted to the edges of the system. Out here, people struggled to get by with the most basic technologies. A captain's goal was simple, find a crew, Find a job. Book's voice is actually very soothing. Hey, Yorn! You gonna give us what do us. And every damn thing else on that boat. And I think maybe you gonna give me a little one-on-one -on -one time with the missus. You might want to reconsider that last part. Hey! Me powerful, ugly creature. How can you say that? <laughs> How can you shame me in front of new people? If I could make you prettier, I would. You are not the man I met a year ago. Nice. Now you could luxuriate in a nice jail cell, but if your hand touches metal, I swear by my pretty floor bonnet, I will end you. I really love this. <laughs> Zoe always there to back him up. <laughs> oh, nice. They always find their way to get themselves in trouble. Explain to me again why Zoe wasn't in the dress. Tactics woman. Besides them soft cotton dresses feel kind of nice. It's a whole airflow. And you'd know that because... You can't open the book of my life and jump in the middle. Like woman, I'm a mystery. People are a mystery in general. The rain is very scarce. And such it is with men like you. It's the most. You're the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like this cargo they were protecting belonged to this group of people. Oh yes, good old book. Doing a ritual for the people who died. Oh hey, that was right there. That was in the opening credits of Firefly. It was from this episode. We'll pray for a safe voyage and hope to lay eyes on you again ere too long, my friend. That woman he danced with, I gotta admit, he's earned a lot of respect. Yeah! Who the hell are you? What do you mean? That was the woman he was with dancing. Mr. Reynolds, sir. I'm your wife. The thing he put on the head. Oh. Take my land. Take me where I cannot stand. I'm still free. You can't take the sky from me. Out from the black. Tell them I ain't coming back. Run the land and boil the sea. You can't take the sky from me. There's no place I can be since I found serenity. But you can't take the sky from me. Serenity, I found peace. I don't please you. You can't please me. You never met me. So why do I have a wife? You got a wife? All I got is that dumbass stick sounds like it's raining. How come you got a wife? Zoe, would you get washed? This is Zoe. We need all personnel in the cargo bay. Oh, I said wash. Everyone should have a chance to congratulate you on your day of bliss. I don't know this girl. Then can I know her? Jane, please. I want you all to meet Mrs. Reynolds. <gasps> you In Nora's face. Who is she? She's no one. Captain. <laughs> Would you stop that? I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. He makes everybody cry. Monster. I'm watch turn the ship around. <laughs> Can't. You know, in our, I did once say in our reminds him to be a human being every now and then. Would you stop crying? For God's sake, Mal, could you be a human being for 30 seconds? That's one of very nice qualities, but I didn't ever marry you. I believe you did. Last night. <gasps> the woman lays the wreath upon her intended. Oh, the wreath, yeah. Which represents his sovereignty. And he drinks of her wine. And then there's a dance with a joining of hands. You, sir, are newly wed. I can't imagine how many marriages he's done. You're about divorce. Oh, huh. Ouch. You blew 
Oh. The way I see it, me and her got one thing in common. We're the only ones who don't think this is fun. Oh, something, something's not right, though. Are you gonna kill me? What kind of crappy planet is that? In the Maiden's home, I heard talk of men who weren't pleased with their bride. Well, I ain't them. And don't you ever stand for that sort of thing. Someone ever tries to kill you, you try to kill them right back. You are no one's property to be tossed aside. You got the right, same as anyone, to live and try to kill people. I'm, you know, people that are... It's a dumb planet. Might be able to set you up some sort of work there. Some ranches, if you're more for the outdoors. I'd be a good wife. I'd be a terrible husband. Five days, we'll be together. That'll be fine. I'll do for you or not, as you choose. Hungry? Kitchen's just through there. I'll cook you something. Well, no, I meant for you. I'm a fine cook, everyone says. That, I ain't never even... My name is Saffron. Like Saffron Burroughs? He tells her he can make her something, defend herself. It requires dispensation from her pastor. I can send him away, see what I can do. Seems very anxious to please you. If you take sexual advantage of her, you're going to burn in a very special level of hell. A level they reserve for child molesters and people who talk at the theater. Oh my goodness. Preacher, you got a smutty mind. Perhaps I spoke out of turn. Or maybe perhaps I'm thinking. I apologize. I'll make her up a room in the passenger door. Good. Special hell. There is no special hell. It's just hell. Thank you. I agree no woman should ever be taken advantage of like that, like that. Having yourself a little supper, Captain? Shackford insisted on No, I didn't want to make her feel damn tasty. Is there any more where that came from? But everything's laid out if you'd like to cook for your husband. Isn't she quaint? Very old school. She wanted to make me dinner. Well, at least she's not crying. I might. Did she really make a fresh bow? Quaint! Remember that sex we were planning to have ever again? Uh-oh. I would appreciate it if one person on this boat would not assume that I'm an evil, lecherous hump. Yeah, we're pretty much just giving each other significant glances and laughing incessantly. Is that cider? By the stroke, get your refill. <laughs> oh. That's for me to do. Oh, my. I hadn't already eaten. You don't want to finish? No, I just... Um, I have captainy things to do, but, uh, truthfully, that's a fine meal. Thank you. You just have something to eat yourself, and, uh, I'm gonna go, Captain. If you're done with supper, would you like me to wash your feet? Take that as no. <laughs> he just takes it. Oh, she's a fine girl. Don't misread. The hell of a cook, too. Do you ever wash your client's feet? It's my specialty. We'll be in Bermond at least two weeks, right? Uh, can't exactly be sure. Well, I need you to be exactly sure, Mel. I can't make commitments and then not keep them. That's your specialty. Oh, roasted. I'm sorry, are you touchy because I got myself a bride or because I don't plan to keep her? I find the whole thing degrading. Uh, that's just what Saffron said about your line of work. You two sound like quite a match. Maybe you're right. Maybe we're soulmates. Yes, I wish you hundreds of fat children. Oh. Hell, 10 years time, I could- Can you leave me alone for five minutes, please? You know, to be fair, he's always been a little disrespectful towards Anara because of what she does. Uh-oh. Always do seem to find one, though. What was that? There's times I think you don't take me seriously. You got something you don't deserve. And it's brought me a galaxy of fun, I'm here to tell you. Uh-oh. It's a Callahan full bore auto lock. Customized trigger. Double cartridge thorough gauge. This is my very favorite gun. Oh, oh, I get it, because he wants the girl. Are you me a trade? A trade? Hell, it's theft. This is the best damn gun made by a man. It has extreme sense. That is terrible. What I got? She has a name. So does this. I call it Vera. Oh, damn it, Mal, I'd treat her okay. Yeah, right. She's a human woman, doesn't know a damn thing about the world, and needs our protection. Go play with your rain stick. Mal did the right thing. He's absolutely right about that. Y you can't... Put up a woman. You can't do that to a woman. You're a good man. I don't wish to be wed to the large one. I if I'm not to be yours, I'd rather have the work you spoke of. I could be useful on a ranch. My mama had a ranch back on Shadow, where I'm from. Ran cattle mostly. Used to tell me, don't brand the cattle, brand the buyer. He's the one likely to stray. She raised you herself? I heard about 40 hands. I had more family for a kid. Uh oh. I'm not one talks about what's. Past and here you got me. Does your crew never show interest in your life? Not really. What's your history? Not much to say. Life like yours, I fear you'd find mine terrible dull. Oh, I long for a little dullness. This whole trip's gonna be just a little too interesting. When he protected her from Saffron from Jane, that really goes to show you what Jane thinks of women. Thing will run forever. They got a mechanic even half a wit. It's got no flash. 
Some people ain't looking for Flash. She's a good catch. She comes our way, you prep the nets. Uh-oh. Did you see the way she grabbed that glass from you? Every planet has its own weird co- I spent six weeks on a moon where the principal form of recreation was juggling geese. Baby geese, goslings. Captain shouldn't be babysitting a damn groupie. When did this become not funny? When you didn't turn around and put her ass back down on Triumph where it belongs. Oh. Ooh. Is there anything else on your mind that I should know about sex? It's wild. She's trouble. I'm getting that. You want a bet? I think this is the first time I've ever seen them fight in the TV, in the series. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. She is a nice girl, but I think something's up. There's got to be more to this. And I've made myself ready for you. Oh, wow. Didn't you see you, you got a room of your own? And I'm to sleep there? That's the notion. Assuming you're, yeah. We to become one flesh? That your flesh ought to sleep somewhere else. I'm sorry. When we talked, I'd hoped, but I don't Oh, hey, you. flesh. Uh... <laughs> A question of what's of what's morally right. On the night of their betrothal, the wife shall open to the man as the furrow to the plow, and he shall work in her in and again till she bring him to his fall, and rest him then upon the sweat of her breast. I'm not skilled, sir, nor a pleasure to look upon. Severin, and uh, it's it's been a while, a long damn while since anybody but me took a hold of my plows. I lived my life in the maiden house. Waiting to be married off for trade. What? I seen my sister and paired off with ugly men, men with appetites too unseemly to speak on. And I've cried for those girls, but not half so hard as I cried the night they gave me to you. Why are you? <laughs> for I'd not dreamed to have a man so sweet, so kind and beautiful. I was gonna say good looking. If I'm wed, I am a woman. And I'll take your leave to be bold. Twelve to think of you and me. Leave me at the nearest board. Never look upon me again. I'll make my way with the strength that you've taught. Only let me have my wedding night. Oh, I'm gonna go to the special house. Oh my god, he's giving in to it. I really wish it was that. Don't do it. <laughs> What in the world? Night, sweetie. Oh my god. I knew there was something up. What deadly kiss? She knocked him out. Just to see what the hell everyone was talking about. Uh-oh. Now we're alone, just us and the stars. He's married. Do you know the myth of Earth that was? That when she was born, she had no sky. And the stars would rush into her through the skin of her, making the oceans boil with sensation. And when she could endure no more ecstasy, she puffed up her cheeks and blew out the sky. Interesting myth. Make this night what it should be. Show me the stars. Uh-oh. Do I should do I wish I was somebody else right now? Somebody not married, not Madly oh in love God. with a beautiful woman who can kill me with her pinky. I've been too bored. Well, yes. But... Oh my God, Wash, really? She didn't seem to respect you. Not everybody gets me in Zoe at first glance. We love. They don't get you because you were yourself. The uh, the first time we met. The way she rolls her eyes. She was brought in here for a reason, but what is she trying to do? Wait a minute. The ship. Wait a minute. That ship, that earlier. She's gonna get it over there. Oh, that is nuts. That's why she got on board. Uh, what is she doing? Looking for customers? What were you looking for? A companion's life is so glamorous and strange. I wish I had the skill for such a trade. And all right, I hope sees through this. For true, I'm somewhat relieved. If I'm to learn of love, I'd like it to be at the hands of someone gentle. Someone who could feel what I feel. Well, that's true, yeah. Well, yeah. But Mel said you, you don't approve of my work. Sure, and he said that to keep you from me. I was too curious about you ever since I saw you. Don't fall for it. Come to my shuttle. You would lie with me. I guess we've lied enough. You're good. You're amazing. Who are you? Malcolm Reynolds' widow. Shit. 
Unbelievable. Oh my god, she stole her ship! Get to Malcolm! She just kissed him. Uh oh. You stupid son of a It travels to her body. Is it Christmas? <laughs> Narcotic compound? Probably spread over a seal on her lips. You get it on yours and pal. They called it the goodnight kiss. So you two were kissing. Well, isn't that special? You're going to hell for that. You were taking advantage of I was the one being taken advantage of. You were victimized, Wash was beaten, and Nara found you here. My head got hurt like Wash. I only fell is all. Jane and Kaylee are trying to get us on the bridge. All we know is we're headed somewhere and it ain't Beaumont. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I don't need to be examined. I'm comfy. That was the first time Inara ever kissed him. Who was she after? Besides the last thing, innocent captains? You, you want to stow it? Preach your words in peril. She can fly this thing, why'd you take the shuttle? Maybe she likes shuttles. Some people juggle geese. I don't. See how she crossed the dry feeds? Yeah, huh? So we even try to reroute, it'll lock down. Jing Tai. She went straight for the thermal cap. We could be headed straight into a nice big solid moon for all we know. So, how's about we get to work? It was your big makeout session that got us into this, sir. I was poisoned. You were drugged. What about steering? What about stopping? She humped us hard. I mean, we're gonna have to do a lot. Well, do it. Doesn't help me to see where I'm going if I can't change course. This girl really knows her ships. It's not all she knows. She's well schooled. Good night, kiss. Well, I only hit my head, but Mal went through that. But uh, no, I mean seduction, body language, signals. She's had training, as in companion, as in academy. I'm beginning to think she married beneath herself. How do you know about the training? She tried to seduce me too. Oh Are yeah. You? Duh. Did she? Did you? He's like, did you? It was sloppy of her to try it, but I think she was in a rush. So in, in my case, I mean, it was really. Well, you both gave and it's almost gave. Well. You would have kissed her too. Wash well, didn't. But she was naked. Articulate. <laughs> Everybody not talking about sex in here. Everybody else elsewhere. Good idea, Wash. Oh, that girl's a wonder. Mm, she gets it done. Oh, of course. That's where they would find. Of course. Did she signal anybody? She did. Same coordinates, no ID. Uh, look, it's bouncing the signal all over. Look at it. It's like a circle. It's a net. It's a net. End of the line. Uh oh. End of the line? It's a carrying house. Takes ships, pulls them apart, or fixes them up. So it'll turn the ship into one big electrical conduit, burn us all from the inside out. And then the scrappers will override the airlock, pull the O2, or just gash it. One day you're gonna tell us all how a preacher knows so damn much about crime. Okay. You know, the last episode, I always wondered, especially how he got his card into the Alliance. I start to wonder if Preacher was actually part of the, if Book was part of the Alliance. You go, Gavira. Get that gun out. See these six points where it's brightest? Those are the breakers. One of those should short it out. You guys better hurry and get that thing. You better go ahead and short it out or else you guys are gonna be in big trouble and fry. Holy shit! Gene's gonna send him out! We got it. It's not pretty, but we can steer enough to turn the hell around. Nice work, Kaylee. Still the best mechanic floating. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like you get that wedding night after all. Oh. The first time, darling. I think you should be gentle with me. You gonna kill me? Can you conjure up a terribly compelling reason for me not to? I didn't kill you. You handed me and my crew over to those that would kill us. That buys you nothing. I made you dinner. Why the act? All the seduction games, the dancing about folk. How'd you find me? Only a few places that shuttle would make it to from where you left. I've been waiting a long time for someone good enough to take me down. You even think about playing me again, I will riddle you with holes. Everybody plays each other. You made me look the fool without trying, and yet here I am with a gun to your head. That's because I got people with me. People who trust each other, who do for each other, and ain't always looking for the advantage. Promise me you're gonna kill me soon. Oh, you already know I ain't gonna. You know, you did pretty well. Most men, they're on me inside of 10 minutes. Not trying to teach me to be strong and the like. Just 
One thing I'd like to know straight up. Ask me. What's your real name? Oh. You don't only lie to anyhow. You didn't have to hit her, dude. You could have just let her go. You got by that girl, came and found me, and somehow you happened to just trip and fall. What do you mean? That's about we don't play. You just trip, did you? True. No. Oh, it's not something. I knew you let her kiss you. <laughs> just the witty cut. Is he, he? He's so witty sometimes. He really is. She's like, hell yeah, sort of. <laughs> All right, and that's a wrap on Firefly Episode 6. And I really, really needed to think about this one, you guys. This was a very interesting episode. I remember explaining that Inara always reminds... Uh, I reminds Mal how to be a human being. I'm going to give it to you straightforward, though. Malcolm did treat, did not sell her, trade her away to, J to Jane just because he wanted her and was jealous. That goes to show you that he does value women, value them as human beings. And of course, you know, I'll be honest with you though, I'm really happy that we have changed our traditional gender roles a lot because, you know, I, there's nothing wrong. I mean, if a woman can cook for you or does something nice for you, and it's great. But, you know, it's great that we have, you know, men and women have changed their gender roles a lot. We have, you know, men can do the cooking a little bit more or they try to do a little bit more together. And I also want to admit, I think this is the first time, this is the first time Inara has ever kissed Malcolm. It's obvious that this is the point where I think she realized that she is, you know, she does, she is in love with him. We already know that. And we'll see you on the next episode. And until then, the spotlights are off. Bye, everyone.